Welcome back everyone to Landmark Tours on this Memorial Day weekend and our guest today is Homestead who served our great country so a snappy salute to him and all our service men and women who served and are serving our great country. Okay Homestead so part of the theme to your build here are siege engines and war. Can you tell us about your battering ram here? Well as you'll see as we run through this uh, claim real quick I uh I have a couple of catapults that I built. Some of the guildies saw my siege engine collection starting and so decided to add to it. Uh, this one was actually created by Green Knight and he delivered it. You'll, you'll see the effects of his delivery when we go inside. Alright, so now we see the battering ram has now <laughs> penetrated your wall here. I believe when I originally walked through your house, I don't recall you putting in these additional features that give it sort of, sort of an animation. Was that recently added? Uh, right. I, uh, uh, I thought that a little diorama setup might uh, add a little extra to it. Uh, the claim I built almost uh, edge to edge. But when Buzz brought over this large battery, I'm sorry, when Green Knight brought over this large battering ram. Uh, I had to improvise a little space. Okay, so Oops. now that the battering ram has penetrated this wall, what have they breached? What is this room here we're looking at? Well, it actually just started as a uh, uh, test, if you would, for putting different templates together, things I've picked up from other people. So uh, I guess it actually just eventually evolved into a throne room. You'll notice the floor is uh, borrowed from Truthseeker. Just repeated a pattern she came up with repeatedly. And you mentioned throne room, so any good throne room would not be absent of an actual throne, and that's what we're looking at here, correct? That's correct. That's It's one of the few things in this room that you'll see that I actually did myself. Uh, I started this, I started this uh, right after closed beta started. The throne was added the last couple of weeks as I tried experimenting with the micro box. Okay, Homestead, what's becoming incredibly obvious here is you like to build in scale, in size. Can you give me an idea as to the reasoning behind it? Well, I knew from the beginning that uh, I wasn't going to have the ability to do that beautiful detailed work that a lot of folks use, so I went for scale to cover my lack of finesse. Uh, this this is just a good example of what you can do with the tools that are available in Landmark uh, and still come up with something that looks impressive even though it's not a lot of detail. So now we're looking at this very large maze and battle axe over here on the floor which we'll take a look at here momentarily. Is this a war preparation room? Uh, that's the idea behind it. It's still growing. Uh, this is where I've come to lately. Uh, I was looking for some decor decorations to put up that were war, war planning like. Uh, so I found this battle axe at a swap meet, used it as an inspiration. So in this battle room we see our battle plan map here. It, right, that's one of the few things I've done. I, uh, uh, working to be a war strategy room, I uh, needed a map. So we have various types and various sizes of cannons. Can you give us an idea of what went into constructing them? Um, well, as I pointed out, I started with the basic tools and been slowly learning. So the cannons were uh, my first attempt at uh, using things that are round, using cylinders and, and circles. Uh, again, all with the basic tools that are available uh, that you start with. Uh, but I've been kind of impressed with uh, how pretty they ended up. All right, now so now we're at the top of your castle, and something very unique that I can't help but notice, and that is that these cannons are at a 45 degree angle. That's something you don't normally see in a build. Can you tell me about it? Uh, right. Uh, it's the pleasure of having guildies around the game. Uh, while building my cannon, uh, especially the mortar, the short stubby one, I opined that they were supposed to actually point up since they're mortars. One of my guildies overheard that and came and created for me cylinders that actually go at this angle. Alright, so here we have more of a collection of your cannons and you even had the presence of mind to bore these out. That's that's really amazing. Can you tell me how you did that? Well, actually all of it started out uh, without being hollowed out, so it gave the illusion of a cannon. 
Uh, but as I've gotten a little better at all the tools, with some help from Gildy showing me how to do these kinds of things, uh, I was able later to go ahead and use, use the heel technique to actually get these to be hollowed and bored out. Home, now we're looking at some rather impressive catapults and trebuchets. Can you give me a little bit of an idea of your thoughts behind it and what went into it? Well, these are actually uh, some of the few things that I created myself. Uh, again, you'll note that they're they're built from all the basic tools that are available when you start the game and started adding bits and pieces until I came up with what I thought was pretty good. Okay, Homestead, as we wrap this up, was there anything else you'd like to add? Uh, just that I occasionally see on the forums folks talking about uh, the game requires elite building skills and there are some beautiful stuff being made by a lot of people but I I think uh, what you see here shows that even the most basic builders can come up with something that's very personally satisfying and can actually draw some compliments when folks wander through. And that was a look at Homestead's castle build on Landmark Tours today. Be sure you hit that like button followed by subscribe so you can catch all the information, builds and activities going on in Landmark.